What's up guys? It's your boy Danboy back with another video. Today we are gonna have a look at the plague wing inside Naxxramas and we're gonna have a look at how you can improve your DPS slash your parses on the three bosses in the plague wing. So not the plague bringer, Heikendon clean and Lowethep. I'll provide you some tips and tricks on how you can use your cooldowns better and get more mighty rage pots used etc. And hopefully this will help you to do even better DPS on these fights. I will be making a parsing video for each wing since there's so many bosses in Nax Ramas. I thought this was the way to go this time. And I hope you enjoy it of course. As always a sub, a like and a comment down below would be greatly appreciated. I do also stream on Twitch so you can come check me out there if you would like to chat or you have any questions or the like. Anyways, let's get into it. So. The first fight is not the plate bringer. As you can see, the ads count toward your parse. So, what do you you gonna do? Is of course you're gonna time your cooldowns. That means your death wish, your trinkets, your mighty rage potions. You can even use sapper when the ads spawn. As you can see on this footage, you can see here. I don't have death wish because we used it on the trash packs, but ads they spawn around. 10 seconds after you engage the boss. So if you're in a guild that has two waves of ads, most people probably are, you will time it for the second wave of ads. But as you can see, the ads spawn and we pull all the ads on top of the boss so we can cleave it down. I pop my earth strike here. I have cooldown on sapper, so I'm not gonna use that. You can even use either use a sapper or a strat on holy water, it's up to you. And the boss dies afterwards. If again, if you have two ad waves, you want to save all your cooldowns for the second ad wave so you can time all your cooldowns with execute phase as well so you can improve your damage even more. The next boss we're going to have a look at is, of course, Hygen the Unclean. A few tips here if you're afraid of the dance, you, um, I have a nice screen so you can see here that shows you where the floor erupts. Basically, if you look as you can see directly on the platform so you have one section left one section in the middle left one middle right and one on the right so make sure to not die from this as for the fight itself it is fairly straightforward more or less tank and spank as long as your tank knows where he's moving it it should be no problem but remember you can pre-pop a greater fire protection potion so you can reduce damage taken on eruption should you get hit by it but remember you want to do it before the fight, at least one or two minutes before, so you can use a Mighty Rage during the fight. Anyways, as for the cooldown usage, we're going to use Death Wish at 40 seconds left till he dies on your time to kill weak aura. We're going to use Trinket at 30 seconds left. And we're going to Mighty Rage Pot at the start of Execute Phase as fast as possible when we have no Rage. So we get the full potential of the Strength and the Rage. On top of that, you can Sapper, Dynamite, or Straddle on Holy Water on the boss as well if you want to min-max it. As for which trinkets you should use, I would use the Undead Attack Power Trinket, 81 Attack Power, or if you have the one from KT, definitely use that one. And then I would use Earth Strike, or if you have Slayer's Crest, use that one. So use those two together. The last and final boss in play quarter is of course Lothep. This is a little bit more complex and if you want to improve your DPS here you need to use a bit more consumables than usual. So first off talking about damage taken as you can see on the picture behind I took zero damage. The reason for this is of course I pre-pop a greater shadow protection. You should always pre-pop greater shadow protection. But on top of that I actually dispel the poisons as well. So I use all three anti-venoms. You have the normal anti-venom, you have the strong anti-venom and you have the powerful anti-venom. If you use all these three, and of course Elixir of Poison Resistance, you will take zero damage. Of course this fight was really fast, it was around two minutes, and probably the average fight time is four minutes, but if you continue dispelling the poisons, you only realistically have to use one Greater Shadow Protection Potion. And on top of that, you're of course going to use a Whipper Root when you need to, but it shouldn't really be needed as long as you dispel the poison and you pre-pop a Greater Shadow Protection Potion. So why do we dispel the poisons? Well, by doing this and pre-popping a Greater Shadow Protection Potion pot, we can actually use Mighty Rage at the start of the fight, two minutes into the fight, and if needed, again, at the four-minute mark. 
So we can actually use three Mighty Rage Potions to boost our damage even further. Next up is, of course, the Spore Groups. For you to do the maximum damage possible, you want to get one of the first Spores. This is crucial to get a higher DPS and, of course, a higher Pars. Everybody knows that, I guess. Anyways, let's dig into the cooldown usage during the fight. As for the cooldown usage, we have two scenarios. We have a fight that's less than 3 minutes, and we have a scenario where the fight is more than 3 minutes and 30 seconds. We're going to take the first one that is less than 3 minutes, which means you can only use Death Wish once. And in this fight, of course, in both scenarios, we're going to pop Greater Shadow Protection Potion 2 minutes before the start of the fight. This way, we can use our Mighty Rage from the get-go together with our trinkets, and we can use them again later on. So, if you're in Spore Group 1, wait with your trinkets and Mighty Rage pot till you get the Spore and are back on the boss, and then you pop your trinkets and Mighty Rage pot. You do have a little buffer here to use them. Anyways, when there is 40 seconds left of the fight, you're going to pop your Death Wish. At 30 seconds left, you're going to pop your trinkets. And if you enter execute phase at 30 seconds you're going to use your mighty rage when you have no rage of course and use it as fast as possible in execute phase so you benefit from the strength as much as possible plus you gain a lot of rage for a new fat execute and of course you can sabre dynamite and water if you want to min max it the second scenario is a fight that is longer than three minutes and 30 seconds this means you can use death wish twice so what changes here is instead of only using Mighty Rage and Trinket from the start, you are actually going to use Death Wish, Mighty Rage and Trinkets from the get-go because you can then use them later on again all together. Again, you can Sapper, Dynamite and Water as well there if you want to min-max it. So when the fight has 40 seconds left you get you're gonna pop your death wish again for the second time during the fight you're gonna pop your trinket at 30 seconds left and you're gonna use your mighty rage during execute phase as fast as possible when you have no rage so you get the most uptime on the strength buff and again you can sap or dynamite water another time again as for the trinket use during lower thep i would recommend using the attack power against Undead Trinket, 81 attack power or the Phylactery if you have that one. And I would use Earth Strike or Slayer's Crest or Kiss of the Spider, depending on what you have. Personally, I have Earth Strike only at the moment. So, Anyways, that was it for this guide. I hope it helped you and that you will become an even stronger warrior. As always, a sub, a like and a comment down below would be greatly appreciated. It really helps my channel growing. If you'd like, you can come check me out on Twitch. I do around two next Ramas each week on stream, of course. You can come hang out, chill. Anyways, Merry Christmas. And as always, have a damn great day.